12 Who Care, sponsored by Paramount Builders. 12 Who Care honoree Steve Nix grew up in Jacksonville and stayed to raise two daughters with his wife. And his love for his city shows through his work with the J Fund. That's a charity started over 25 years ago by former Jaguars head coach Tom Coughlin. And for 13 years, Nix has helped raise millions of dollars for families of children with cancer. Season tickets, if you count them, I'm missing one. You learn a lot about a man from his cave. Of course, in 96, what we did was incredible as well. Since the early AFC championship days, Steve Nix has loved the Jaguars, as shown by his man cave. But it doesn't overshadow what's in the corner. My pride and joy is over here, the J Fund. I have my hops that help. We do some growlers, we do cans of beers, we do glasses or whatever as prizes. Roscalusa, Songwriters Festival, incredible. And then just the golf. For the last 13 years, Nix has been chair of the Tom Coughlin J Fund Golf Tournament, where money raised goes towards helping families of children with cancer. Yeah, we raised um, right at almost $900,000. But it's not really medical side of things. It's the gas cards, paying the mortgage, keeping the lights on. Once they get diagnosed, they give them a big book. They took us through it one time, and it's just incredible. For Knicks. The best running back in the league um, for that time period was Fred Taylor. The tournament um, and love for the Jaguars meets in his man cave. Uh, this past year at the golf event, he um, was texting Tony Baselli inside the audience and said, hey, let's, let's make this event a little better and we'll go to dinner with these folks if they bid on this item. Nix is a 12 Who Care recipient for his work with the J Fund. I never look for stuff like this. Again, everybody that helped me get to this point should be sitting around here getting interviewed as well. It's an honor. You learn a lot about a man from his cave. Steve Nix's cave shows a man who cares. In Jacksonville Beach, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News, on your side.